Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing today? So, I seen we have some people here. How you doing? Grand Rising, Rich Rising. Good morning, however you may salute the new day. So, this week we are here talking about the King of Hearts, the actor, the entertainer. You can tell by the way that I, probably not the way that I came in, but at least by the way I said it, right? The voice inflection. <laughs> um, so, the King of Hearts, I will give the birth dates uh, just a second. Put the birth dates down and we have a few questions today as as well and so some of the things that we'll be speaking about okay gina is running a little bit behind so should be here in, this, in, a, in a few so i see that we already have a question um kind of sort of about the king of hearts sagittarius Taurus rising. I'm just speaking about the rising, um, the ascendant and the descendant for the card. So in the in the in the cardology format. So I will speak about that a little bit because that's a that's pretty important, especially for the um, King of Hearts. Um, with that nine of spades, uh, because it is such a powerful, unique, <laughs> uh, spontaneous card, um, and and someone that is socially informed and socially aware that um, nine of spades and the two of clubs is very important as far as the communication with this particular card because the King of Hearts is, of course, it's Mercury. Um, can we see it? Yeah, Mercury, I mean, Mars, Mercury, okay? Uh, and the Nine of Spades comes from, it's sitting um, Venus, Uranus. So the King of Hearts, you know, is a compassionate, very um, loving card, and it has to teach peace. Okay, um, and a lot of times, when you, whenever you're dealing with the King of Hearts, <laughs> uh, you can be someone that can be an arts theater. You know, uh, or do, com, having to deal with organizations and groups. Okay, so uh, if it's even on a grand scale, it's preaching peace, or it may be gathering people around it in some type of uh, manner and is always kind and loving you know there are circumstances so i did get into a conversation once about the king of hearts and i was saying that it, it could possibly be spiteful or needing attention um or there could be jealousy in the home right with the king of hearts and that conversation kind of came about because there was a disagreement about the attitude uh, of the King of Hearts not needing attention in any type of way, uh, which can be true. But then also in the books, as you can read, it it does have its lower um, side, right? Like all the cards, all the cards have a high side and a lower side. So there's not always a one set way when it comes to each card, right? Uh, so I always want to make sure that's always understood as well. Um, that's one reason that you even look at the at the cards uh, in itself to see how you're vibrating and where is some things with the, uh, as far as self-development and, and certain ways that you want to um, become a better you. You know, that's what this <laughs> metaphysics and all of these things are about, um, which is, I guess I get into the conversation and topic of, it's the King of Hearts week, right? So it's all about um, being your best self, not fighting for attention, needing um, to be thanked, even think, thanked in a lot of different ways or what it has been said in the text, right? 
Um, so sometimes certain things may go without recognition, <laughs> you know. Um, so speaking about, you know, recognition um, and the seven of clubs, there are some people that believe the seven of clubs um, is or has the pattern of needing to be recognized, um, needing to be seen. Um, and they are very fashionable uh, because they have the jack of spades. So if not fashionable, at least eccentric, right? Um, if it's not properly fashionable, it's eccentric to them or something or doing something that makes them stand out in some type of way. What's going on? Oh, yeah, Dan, you know what? I just seen that you um, you just reminded me that you, you called one time and I had your number saved, but I gave you a call back. I had a lot going on probably at that particular time, so I didn't get to call you back. Um, but top of the morning, um, Rich Rising to you all. Thanks for joining joining me. So where was I? Yeah, so the being eccentric, being them being fashionable, seven clubs can also be seen as like fashion, design, art. You know, um, they can also go into spiritual senses as well. All right. I was talking about the King of Hearts being photogenic, um, which the um, King of Clubs, the Seven of Clubs, I can also see those cards as that as well. We're going into the sense of, of this art of metaphysics, right? It's all about self-development, you know? So for me, and, and, and when I look at the Seven of Clubs, it's the Seven, right? I always speak about the mirror. And one reason I always speak about the mirror is because that's what it is. It's always the sevens being isolated or being stranded into a place where they have to self-reflect uh, and develop who they are and recognize who they are and not need any type of outside confirmation, you know, and be able to be free, you know? So a lot of sevens, they have the five in somewhere with them, you know? So seven of diamonds, the five of spades, <clears throat> And Mercury, seven of hearts, the five of spades, and Venus, seven of clubs, five of diamonds. You know, um, the only one that doesn't have it five directly is the is the seven of spades. But the other threes have that five very close by it in Mercury. So there's a sense of freedom that comes. And I think the freedom with the seven of spades comes with financial freedom and, and having a sense of rulership or being able to... Um, acquire the things that they desire because they a lot of times they have a skill or a talent. We're going to the seven clubs. Um, I was going to the seven clubs because I was talking about Lizzo, right? So uh, she was talking about her quitting, um, okay? And, and everyone was thinking that she just wants attention. Uh, and it was a king of hearts week. So the lesson I would take from this is that you don't need attention. Um, the king of hearts has the power of love. Uh, which is forever lasting and it says it yields the greatest power that there is and i think that is the everlasting love in the book it has like dot 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 it, it yields the greatest power there is right um, but i think that's the power of love of everlasting love you know um some of the questions did i go over the questions i don't think i did um, but some of the questions uh, was actually about one of the placements of the seven of diamonds and the king of hearts and uranus which I'll speak about that as well, because that's a very important spot for them. Um, so the question is, why would the King of Hearts have to practice everlasting love? Does anybody know in the comment area? Let me see if y'all can guess. I do want to get some things back, maybe. Um, so what I would do is a Q&A every week uh, as well. Um, so I don't see anything. So the King of Hearts has the power of everlasting love, mainly um, because that Six of Hearts um, there and Venus. So the King of Hearts, if you can see that there, so how do you read this or how do you make sense of this? So what is the spread for the King of Hearts? We don't go over that too much. I know a lot of times, um, it's a lot of dialogue and someone asks about keeping it or reflecting to the spreads to kind of decipher what we're speaking about or why we're speaking about a certain card. 
um, because that's a lot of times what you all are looking at. So a lot of your questions, like I said, I'll be answering. Um, will be some people ask about the placement um, of the cards, the seven of diamonds, about the king of hearts. Um, I have a uh, the queen of clubs and the transformation, and the seven of clubs is a critical relationship with the king of hearts. So I'm kind of speaking on it that that now. I even forgot there was a question. Um, so the king of hearts has everlasting love, so it doesn't have to fight for position or of a, of authority, you know, uh, within its um, field of knowledge uh, or whatever that they, they may want to do. You know, it's one of the few kings that can really take the back seat, actually, you know, and really not need a lot of attention or praise, uh, and they just get it, you know. Um, you can you can maybe call it privilege, <laughs> but somehow they gain attention or, or they gain the like like likeness of other people because they show love or give love you know um again that is not something that always happens as well um like i said these are levels you know and a lot of people and and a lot of us just on the mundane level uh, are working through our own insecurities you know of trying to give love and not needing love not needing to be praised for love. You got to think about the King of Hearts is one of the biggest lovers there is or symbols or the symbology of love and the principle of it is that, you know, and you don't even need a thank you. I, I'm And I have to say, maybe because of my Jack of Hearts, um, which the Six of Hearts is a principle and the Jack of Hearts is a person, right? And I have the Jack of Hearts and the um, Saturn card as the Three of Diamonds. Uh, I don't need to be thanked a lot of times, to be honest. And one thing about the Jack of Hearts, they have, to, they have a King of Diamonds, and they have to know their worth, right? Um, and they have to go about relationships and sacrificing and giving, you know, and letting things go. And one thing they have in common with the King of Hearts is the Nine of Spades. So in this King of Hearts week, the lesson with the King of Hearts is, is love, you know, not needing... Um, a praise or recognition uh, and the seven of clubs again as i said the seven is a self-reflection you know you you're going to sit by yourself you're going to um have to get over negative um thinking or thought patterns that you may have you know um a lot, some of the comments i read one of the comments that was on the post about this opinions and some of the clubs come and defend yourself i know every as i said all cards aren't the same you know um so if someone says she's not quitting just whining this card complains non-stops and loves to victimize themselves they like the attention even the negative attention they succumb easily to negative thinking and thought patterns and it's whoa well, me why me etc they get over it and she'll snap out of it um she does this all the time, crying one moment and popping confidence the next. That's the sevens, right? They're going to make you sit with yourself. Uh, it's a self-reflection. Um, it is a woe me, a victimizing, a being a victim, the eight of hearts down there, not to call them out, but the eight of hearts um, have it pretty bad. They have the seven of space and the seven of hearts, you know, so there can be points of depression, you know, that comes about with the seven of spades, seven of hearts, and even the seven of diamonds, you know, it can be a woe me. And I think Beyonce, she, if you look at her, she has the king of hearts and Uranus. She is a seven of diamonds. She spoke about how she took, I wouldn't say the woe me um, standpoint, but how she been recorded this album. And because she didn't get the recognition, she realized there was racism within the, um, field of country music and then she went back and did her research and she looked at the history of country music and the contributions that had it had it you know uh, i think that's very humbling for her as well to know and say that she was getting into something out of the passion and art just the fact that she loved it probably coming from texas right she didn't even know the history of it <clears throat> but she decided to jump into this music which is art music you know uh, uh King of Hearts, but she decided to jump into this, this genre 
um, and didn't know the history and realized that there is a rich context uh, and she was able to be humble and go back and learn something. Um, but she didn't take the woe me um, way out of it. And actually the seven of diamonds with the king of hearts and the king of hearts in itself, one thing about it is also that um, all of your blessings come within your midlife, you know, with the seven of diamonds. A lot of your recognition, same thing with the seven clubs, a lot of the things that you want to be recognized for may not even come early on in life. Um, and you, I mean, you got to give it to the seven of clubs. They have the eight of diamonds there as well. I think I did a post, um, the song of the day is Purple Hearts as well by Kendrick Lamar. I think that represents the King of Hearts a lot. But I didn't post it, I did it in my stories uh, about the seven of clubs. It was Benny the Butcher, he's a rapper. He has a song talk called Pillow Talk and Slander which is the path of the seven of clubs. So yeah, you can say it's a woe me, um, four sevens. A lot of times you have to walk the shoes of that card. And again, the seven of diamonds, it says that they may be denied, you know, <laughs> until later in life. And that's when they meet a lot of their success. So think about the sevens. Um, it is conflict a lot of times. It is relationships, they have the nines. The nines is there for the king of hearts. So a lot of their troubles come come from other people or relationships or, or going about, you know, when you're working on, on a universal platform or when you're working with the people, in, if you ever work within organizations, you know that things fall apart that you can't have no control over, you know? Um, so there are certain things that you may not have control over that you may have to get over and and then have a more universal understanding, be op optimistic, you know, try to find an inventive way. The nines are inventive, they're creative, nine of diamonds, nine of hearts, you can go into theater, nine of clubs, nine of space. A lot of them are, are, a lot of those people are on stage speaking in front of people, you know, so imagine getting on stage and your mic don't work, you know? Yeah, you can say, well, me, but, <laughs> and then you see there's a pattern your mic not working. You know, um, but you know, those things can just happen in life, right? So those things that we just have to let go. So yeah, the seven sevens can have a woe me, but that a lot of the sevens and nines have a very hard life path a lot of times. There are certain things they have to go through, let go, and find a universal understanding for a lot of times. So the seven of clubs is one of who may be um, feel the denied of resources. They may feel um, deprived in some type of way because of the Eight of Diamonds is the challenge um, over there. Um, and a lot of times, yeah, they do may they may hide their emotions. They may hide behind a mask. A lot of times, um, they also may need therapy or people, other people to talk to. I always say sevens and relationships. There's a two probably very close by for, for the sevens, um, both for the seven of hearts and the seven of clubs has it in Uranus. It's my juice. And yeah, seven of hearts and the seven of clubs have it in, in Uranus. So those are spiritual connections, you know, um, very important for them to have relationships where they can talk to people, you know. So yeah, I do see that as, you know, and, and, and getting out and voicing their opinion, that's another thing with the king of hearts is your voice, you know, not being denied of your voice. Um, let me go to, I speak about that in the King of Hearts. We kind of left off last week um, with us talking. I know I'm, I'm, I'm deprived right now of light. <laughs> I'm looking at myself, I'm like, oh Lord. I, let me see if I can use some light. Um, We kind of talked about last week about the um, the coward. Well, I did the coward lion, and and it was kind of like a comparison to I believe that story is uh, that, that looks bad, right? I guess like um, kind of compared it to was it Alice in Wonderland? I think, and with the the um, I don't know all these all the I'm not a movie person at all. Um, 
I'm more of a time. I don't want my time to be wasted, but I do end up liking movies. <laughs> but I think it's Alice in Wonderland. Y'all help me out um, with the Tin Man and the Lion. This is it. Let me see. And Wonderland, yeah. So uh, if you, like I said, I don't watch movies, but I get concepts. I'm more of a conceptual person. Uh, what did it kind of, how did, what did I learn? Yeah, The Wizard of Oz. Um, more of a conceptual conceptual person. So what did I learn from the movie? What stuck out? What can I relate it to life? You know, how did this help me? Um, or what looked cool? But what I got from that, so the lion wasn't very courageous, right? He didn't have a heart. He didn't stand up for himself. And as a king of hearts, you are the protector, uh, is the comforter, you know? So also in the king of hearts, we, that where the men, I also posted, you know, standing up for Lizzo, um, because like I said, the seven of clubs can feel deprived, you know? Um, they also can, feel like people are against them and antagonists, antagonism. So those are all of the things that the Seven of Clubs has to kind of deal with. Um, but the King of Hearts is a one that also needs a voice, you know, um, it may be deprived, it may, it deprived, it may not stand up for itself, you know, and the lower levels of that particular card, because on the high level, it's supposed to be a performer, someone that is secure within themselves. So if someone isn't secure within themselves, the sevens reflection itself, right? Not needing always someone to um, validate them or not needing a relationship, you know, being able to let go, you know, let people be people and in, in every sense of the, that word, making sure that, you know, that they really don't care you know, is one of the key words for the seven of clubs as well. So within this King of Hearts week, uh, it is, it, like I said earlier, it's a card that can stand for itself. It doesn't need praise, you know. Um, but on the lower levels on the King of Hearts, like in Alice and, uh, yeah, the, the Wizard of Oz, um, there are people who don't have a voice, you know, people who don't know how to stand up for themselves. If you can look, and as you see, the King of Hearts has a two of clubs um, that challenges them. And how you want to think about the two of clubs um, is going to be like a tree, you know? So in there, and it's like, like the comments, <laughs> like the comments said, one minute they confident, right? But behind closed doors, you know, it can be fall and they may, and they may not have any, any um, leaves on the tree, right? So they have the seasons of, of when they're feeling confident, you know. So if you look at the clubs, it's all about being in your head, being in your mental, being in your brain, sitting with yourself, you know, needing to, like a Gemini, not being doubtful or fearful, you know, standing up for what you know, you know, using your creative talents, you know, especially in the fields of arts and creativity, everything is, is opinionated, you know. So I, I think I seen a comment earlier this week that was saying that they are tired about this, who is number one, you know, in the field of information and knowledge. So, I mean, in this field of music, <laughs> I was talking about information now, but in this field of music, because it's, it's all about a creative standpoint, it's, there is no number ones, right? J. Cole said it once as well, there is no more kings. But let me, I see y'all made some comments. So this rapper, Smart Seven of Clubs, had a terrible uh, abusive childhood, but their ability or power to overcome anything is amazing. Yeah. So uh, one thing uh, about these Eight of Diamonds uh, sitting with the Eight of Clubs, a key for the Eight of Diamonds is um, they have a... Eight of Spades, Pluto, which is the death and rebirth. Uh, so the Eight of Diamonds and the King of Spades. So the Eight of Diamonds is here to um, get through life difficulty difficulties, you know, and never have to go back and 
solve or get through that issue again, you know? So it has resilience and the power to overcome. So you're going to go through something and you'll never have to worry about going through that particular thing ever again, becoming a master of your craft or who you are, right? So that's one thing about that eight of diamonds. And if you look at the seven of clubs, it displaces um, the eight of diamonds. So it has a sense of resilience, you know, but it's, that is the challenge, right? So once Lizzo gets over this negative thinking or doubtful thinking, and as the seven of clubs is the power of the mind, you know, self-hexing can come from that. So if she gets through that and have the power of affirmation and reverses it, she has now defeated something that she feel like that she didn't have or she was deprived of, <clears throat> you know, something that she that was able to control her. And she'll never have to go through that again because as people, you know, that practice affirmation as a musician. And again, these are people, people are people. It could be she knows and just wants attention, but the eight of diamonds sits where in the sun. So the eight of diamonds does want attention, <laughs> but um, as people, we know that the power of affirmation works. Me, myself, I have to, I do know, and that's why I say the seven of the clubs and sevens are mirrors because I myself do have to admit, I have to, I didn't have confidence in myself. I have a seven of hearts and Venus, seven of diamonds and Mars, you know, so I went through all my own personal trials and tribulations, self doubt, self fear, you know, um, that comes with those sevens. Uh, and like like the seven of diamonds, it is the millionaire, millionaire's card. You know, everyone is a Beyonce. Everyone doesn't get rich overnight. So with that, there is a path of longevity, hardship, you know, that comes with that card as well. You know, just for the average per person, maybe, you know, again, along with astrology, people who have success, they have people in their life, relationships, you know, that they that's that's able to help them. And of course, in Seven Diamonds has the King of Diamonds and, and Neptune as well, you know? So there is someone of wealth that may be um, near, you know, of close or financial influence um, or the ability to create money, you know, out of a, something of an artful nature, you know? But, or even maybe some someone divining, you know, even telling you your life path, because King of Diamonds is, is a psychic, as well, if you look at it from like the um, cardamancy point of view of just dealing the cards. And a website that you can look at that for is latincards.com. I give that out. Um, I use that uh, a lot of times. And if you had a reading from me, I do try to reference certain websites. And what I will do, a redo as well, I'm going to uh, re-release some of the study groups that I had. So during these study groups um, with me and Madeline, what I did was um, went through the kings all of, and all of the hearts, I believe. And I went through every single card, which a lot of you wish and hope I do on these videos, but that we will be here literally for hours. You see how I got trapped, sidetracked with just the seven of clubs and the king of hearts <laughs> relationship. Um, but so a lot of times that happens and, and there's about a three to four hour meeting, but I give you all of the resources, just resources that I use for free and how I break down and look at every single card and through every single Mercury, Venus, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune for each of the hearts. Um, and the Kings. Um, and I did have a lot of people from each of those cards there. So what I tried to do was have all three of hearts or all King of Clubs. So I will re-release those. Um, and it would be like five or $10, I guess. Um, I don't think anyone paid. And I have to go back and see if anyone paid. I think it was free actually. Um, but I will re-release those, but it'll be something that you can pay for. 
and they give you and i will actually go through and do all 52 cards for every single card and so i will be doing the study group again and that would be something that's like five or ten dollars for every person that want to join so thank you for that listening to that brief intermission intermission <laughs> um so yeah so i was talking about the king of hearts and the seven plus relationship um and it having the eight of diamonds and maybe needing the spotlight sometimes and getting over anything that it has been through you know because the eight of diamonds is something of overcoming um, something that you don't need to you know feel like you're deprived of because it, it is something that is has a king of spades so you, you begin to master it so affirmations you know um, it is actually, I think, is one of the most powerful things. And over just the King of Hearts, the power of love is also inspiration. Is one of the most powerful things that you can do as well. Is inspire. Hello, Gina. Hi, Rashad. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I apparently like you had to have the app, <laughs> and I was trying to figure this whole thing out first. <laughs> no, you good. I thought you was actually at the beach. You I will be. Coming. <laughs> no, I'm about to go, um, but I may not be. I may see if um, my friend can drive, and then that way I can still be on while she drives my car. Oh uh, no, you good? You good? I mean, I don't know how much time you got. Um, I got a few I minutes. To... She's not even here yet. Um, what you talking about? The King of Hearts. Yeah, so they have some new features. My bad. I was looking at has. It's an app. Instead of doing it through like the browser, which I've always done, it had I had to get the app. Oh, I didn't even know they had an app. Fancy. <laughs> Neither till just now. <laughs> Fancy. Even on my phone, um, if I do it on my phone, I, I just do it through the web browser. Okay, let me download the app. Yeah, it wouldn't let me. I tried from the iPad, and I tried. I usually am on the iPad when I do this, and then I was, and I've done it from my phone too before, but it kept like it wouldn't, it wasn't compatible with the iOS, whatever that is. Um, look at this. I'm never on my computer StreamYard. with this, huh? I said, look at this advertising Streamyard. You don't know, <laughs> get paid for this. If you click the link <laughs> below, the, I do. I'm supposed to get paid, but no one has clicked it, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking at the streamer, if you do want to stream, StreamYard has, has been okay with us. As I said last week, maybe it's just me and my connection. Um, <laughs> but maybe we don't look, make them look so good with all our technical difficulties. Right. <laughs> I, myself am a technical the I myself am a technical di difficulty. Yeah, we <laughs> I have don't the do best stream to advertise them, but we, we try to make it work. I do sit in Mercury Uranus, so that comes with this difficulty, difficulty, difficulties in communication, maybe, you know, just maybe kind of. Uh, I want to say break the law, but you know I'm an obstruction, you know, to to someone else's agenda. Could be seen that way, but maybe I'm just here to uplift and to upgrade. Let's say that Saturn Uranus, we up upgrading things. We see where the upgrades need to be. That's why I'm here. I create chaos to see where <laughs> the holes are. <laughs> where where do we need to upgrade? Upgrading chaos, nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my theory, Diamond Club. But um, I was speaking about, I, I sent a text, I was speaking about the Seven of Clubs, the King of Hearts, and about how the King of Hearts uses the power of love um, to endure all, you know, um, and how it doesn't even need to be thanked or get recognition, you know, um, for what it does and some of the things that it do. Um, and I was speaking about the Seven of Clubs, and about Lizzo, she had a reaction about her fans, you know, being antagonizing her and, and speaking about her weight and she not getting seen for just her art and for what she do, you know, isn't recognized. Um, and she's always in the, in the media for something negative, negative. And, you know, the seven clubs can be self hexing pessimism, you know, and I read one of the comments that someone spoke about the seven of clubs also. So yeah. And then being the king of hearts, I thought it was just relative, you know, just out of 
just maybe even looking at that principle. But go ahead. Well, do you find it interesting that when you look at all three of the kings that we can see right now, that they're all crowned by the sevens? Hmm. I, I didn't good look, good look, Gina. I didn't even. <laughs> I, knew I, that. I did speak about the Neptune aspect, but not, go ahead. No, I was just saying I've noticed that before. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. And so that kind of goes with how they can, you know, I, I think when you look at like the, you know, this, the cards, right? You know, the sevens are like what I call like that first bridge, you know, from the mundane to the spiritual. Then you have the jacks that get you to the queen and the king. It's just interesting that these three kings have the author, you know, and we know the king of spades is the most powerful king in the deck. So it really, and it has the sevens connected to it because that's the Pluto and result card. So you see the sevens and the kings very much you know, are intertwined in, in some way. And I think it that's the first step to kind of get to the king. It's the first step to kind of get to that level of mastering from the inside out, mm -hmm. because that's the seven energy, right? And, but it can be very much a challenge, you know, because as you see with her, she's slipping on that, like what I call the seesaw of the sevens is that lower side of it, you know? And with the seven energy, I've had a seven in Pluto this whole week, man. I can't wait for this week to be over. It, it, it's very it's it's very challenging it really freaking is <laughs> it takes a lot of freaking work <laughs> and sometimes you're just like i don't want to do this anymore but it does require a lot of that again you having to look at yourself you know and that's what it does and you know when we think of king energy it is like putting on a crown and to wear that crown you have to have like this self-awareness this self you know, maturity, confidence, because if not, the crown's going to be crooked because that's what those sevens either going to be this way or that way. You know what I mean? Hold on. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's definitely a weight in the crown. Mm -hmm. And it's funny you say that. Um, that's actually what I had said. Uh, actually, on her comment, the heaviest the head that wears the crown, you know, uh, and intuitively right um if you as gina said the sevens crown the kings you know um so yeah and, and even with her she has the king of clubs hers would be the king of clubs is the one that she crowns or what is in neptune so this is someone that has you know motivation they want to be uh, perfectionist. There may be a, a sense of perfectionism. I always say sevens um, are, is the the mirror as well. So when, when I was just getting into how I don't like looking in, in at the mirror a lot of times, or how I have been doubtful or fearful, and a lot of times um, that comes from maybe even childhood as well. I've been there. You know, I, I got picked on as a kid. I know you probably wouldn't believe such a nice smile, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't always the cutest guy, you know, so I was I would consider myself a late bloomer for sure. <laughs> Funny Rashad. No, nah, for real, seriously. <laughs> uh, I, I might tell a joke, but I ain't going to tell you a lie. <laughs> but so um, with the sevens, it, they have some type of hardship, right? Um, and, and even it can be self-criticism, you know, not being doubtful or fearful, you know, not thinking of yourself as the best or having a um, deprived mind, you know, um, the, the seven of diamonds is the poverty versus wealth mentality. And that's a, like that almost for all the seven. So I think the, the seven of hearts can be deprived of love. You know, the seven of clubs can be deprived of admiration or, or being acknowledged in some type of way. Seven of diamonds deprived of, of their wealth. And the seven of spades deprived of maybe resources, you know, uh, mm -hmm. that they may mm -hmm. want in life. So mm -hmm. all of those cards have some type of thing to get over, you know, and the seven of clubs and also. Do you think that the resolve to that is like, internal right because we always come yeah. back to like it's inside of you the stuff to the cards right so as you described what the you know shortcomings or failings of those sevens might be each one of them as much as like say a seven of spades getting resources being in the right place receiving them knowing they're worthy of them would actually help them come to them right whereas if they're in a negative or 
a lower frequency, that likelihood would be diminished. Yes? No? What do you think? Can you say that again? Yeah, right. So, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm just saying like with the sevens, the way you're describing it is that they all need something like, you know, like you, let's say the seven of spades, you said they need resources. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying in order for that seven or any seven to get what they need, whether it's love or appreciation for who they are or wealth or whatever it is, they need to be in a frequency to receive it, right? It's not necessarily like the world's not giving it to them. It's that they're vibrating in a way that they're not receiving it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, gosh, oh yeah, I was going to read something as well earlier um, about a post that I made about Benny the, the Butcher. Um Let me see that. Well, that was fun the way you brought up all the different people and certain relationships. Did you talk about those already when we relate, or are we still going to do some of that? No, I didn't. I only did seven of the clubs and the King of Hearts is what I've been speaking about lately. Okay, but good. I didn't so, about that's it. good. I was just curious. I was, but, um, I, didn't. I was just curious to see where you got to because I know I was late. Oh, okay, no, you're good. Um, but yeah, I didn't write, but uh, I didn't put it on the post. But I was speaking about the King of Hearts and the Six of Hearts as well. Um, but yeah, there is a sense of needing to be, to be able to receive love. Um, or maybe it's something I thought about, or maybe in conversation I was having with someone. But I was telling them that even because I don't think of myself, or I didn't think of myself in a certain way, I wasn't even open to receive love or I didn't even, uh, even now, I don't know how to take compliments a lot of time, especially about <laughs> how I may look. It kind of feels weird. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so the, so I, I do know even just outside of the cars, just personal experience, you know, it is, it makes it even hard to even see the positive or, or reflect or, or even, you know, um, being able to, um, growth in, in the positive, you know, and, and just be able to sit there and, and take it all in. You have the King of Hearts has the Six of Hearts and Venus as well, you know. As much as they give, they also receive and they must understand that, you know, there's a um, symbiotic re relationship with, with love and the way, what you do. So you can only, if and also if you're a negative person and you're not giving a lot, as well, if you're a snarky person, yeah, nobody's gonna like you, <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, you're gonna get the bad attitude and, and the criticism from everyone because are you even looking at, are you giving attention? Are you giving love? And mm -hmm. the King of Hearts is also a card, you know, they say that if a relationship goes by um, and it is, it's not the King of Hearts fault, you know, if it takes a break, it's not the King of Hearts fault. So it's a person that is attentive to their relationships, it's attentive to people, you know, and always giving, you know, and like I said, it doesn't have to even be thanked for what it may do. But yeah, if you don't have mm -hmm. the inner confidence, it makes it hard to be open and to receive a lot. Mm -hmm. My sister, Menorah Queen over there. Hello, nice to see you, glad Hi. you're here. I know you like that King of Hearts and you like to think about that one. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely agree that love just kind of comes in the King of Hearts story. Like, you know, I know a few King of Hearts. I know a good amount of King of Hearts, really, about six of them. And uh, mm -hmm. they for sure have to keep the vibe up. They're very loved and appreciated by people. Um, but in this part where they can be like bully-like I mean, I, you know, my personality is that. So I, I was thinking about that and the way you asked the question on the um, post. It's like when you have such a strong hand or just such a strong way, I think you can be kind of bully like. And I think it's all about how you hear the word no. Mm -hmm. Right. Because sometimes in a king's world, you don't hear, hear no as much maybe as other people hear no. Right. Because you're the king. Right? Like I'm a queen. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So like, I'm not saying it in a braggy way. I'm saying it like in a reality of energetic way, right? So 
But hearing no and being able to manage the no's gracefully, I think there's something really uh, deeply maturing about that. Mm-hmm. How are you going to say it's not their fault or future, the protege? <laughs> Menorah said, Menorah said, how are you going to say it's not their fault? Look at the future, the prototype. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I suppose. I mean, I guess, again, it's always how you play your card. But I do believe that being able to accept life on life's terms, no matter what card you are, is a strength. And I do think that I can see how the kings may not be as good at accepting life on life's terms as other cards because oftentimes it's kind of on their terms. And maybe that's where the bully energy is. But I'm open to being wrong. I'm open to seeing all the parts, you know. But I, uh, I know I'm pretty conscious of thinking about others when I make moves, but I mm-hmm. certainly like to get what I want too. Yeah, um, that's what another thing I said. Dangerous because you have power um, and influence, but is it is it dangerous? You know, um, to not like the word no because that that's another thing for me is rejection that I had an issue. And somebody said pause. I, I had a pause moment. I didn't have a pause moment. Did I, did I have a pause moment. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, not not getting rejection or not getting rejected in relationships. Um, I don't I don't know P. P. Diddy. Never never met the guy. Don't know what he's personally going through, but he has a King of Hearts um, and his reward card. He has a Nine of Spades and Uranus. I mean Neptune. He has a Nine of Clubs and Uranus. He has a Two of Hearts and Pluto. And I think personally with me, what I've seen personally with the three of diamonds and maybe on other levels, there can be some things around relationships, love, denial and rejection, you know, and that word, no, you know, or hearing the word no, because nine of clubs is the word no, nine of of clubs, nine of spades is something, another thing that you can be feel like you deprived for from, you know, something that you can wish for, hope for. I heard another um, insightful thing this weekend. I uh, said anything that you um, wish for isn't guaranteed without work, you know. So anything that you work towards, you know, let's say that anything you work towards, not just wish for, you know, uh, and it isn't given to you or you're denied of it and you spent so much time trying to, um trying to attain this thing and someone tell you no, that can be heartbreaking. <laughs> you put all your time into getting something. You feel like you're at the, at the graduation. That's like nine o'clock we say our graduation, like going getting to the graduation and someone is telling you, no, nah, no, nah, you can't have this. <laughs> that can be kind of hurtful. And those cars. Yeah, especially if you were kind of used and that's the whole thing. Like that word used has been up in my question marks of things to think about. It's like, do we use each other or is it just positioning for the alchemy? That's just what we're doing. Right. But like, say somebody's in a dynamic with the King of Hearts and in some ways that King of Hearts is a resource to them. Right. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. maybe they are good at something that you need them to be good at and this and that. And as it's happening, the King of Hearts is growing this whole idea of how it could be this and this and this and this. But then when you're done with that resource or, you know, making that whatever you needed to do and you needed their energy there, it's over. So I think there's that nine of spades being there next to the King of Hearts makes sense because you have to let go in grace because things will come to the resource that you are and they will go in their own time, in their own way. And it's not necessarily because you did it wrong. It's because they come and they go. Things come and go. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Even in in relationships, you know, Um, especially when you go to a place of healing where you need help, you know, you you don't, how long do you stay in the hospital? You know, you're you're only there for a certain amount of time and then you got to go, you got to leave on to, you know, your mission and what you have to do in life. And, And the King of Hearts is one of those energies that comforts people. It's a safe harbor for people, you know. So there's a, a sense of emotional attachment, you know, a comfort, you know, and consolement 
and 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 you may confide in to this person or, or to this being or it gives like you said that energy or that resource of love the king of hearts is a resource of love <clears throat> so when you have that that like brother love or you want to be that loving energy and you got people leaving you and, and cutting you off and don't want to be with you no more you know um, well, they're not, done. They got what they wanted. Like they got the job, or they got the placement, or they got into wherever they wanted to get to. And like they weren't really invested in the full relationship as much as they were invested in the access and the perk. I, in my head, I just heard um, Fifty Cent say, "You little, you little worker." <laughs> oh man, you can fill in the blanks, but um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> the the work of love, you know, of, of giving to people, you know, and, and giving your love, being a resource to people can be, you know, it, I think it also goes into enough to the person also needing a break. You know, they say the King of Hearts isn't a person that takes breaks from people, but I do think there is a fine line between um, depleting your cup, you know, and a lot of times the nines are have give from such a high resource that no other people can give. So the amount that they can give may be more than others, but there is a fine line between, you know, reserving yourself and making sure you take care of yourself. As we were talking about last week, the Queen of Hearts was, you know, taking care of yourself, loving on yourself, you know, mm -hmm. uh, filling your own cup before you can fill other other people's. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean I haven't stopped to really go through the comments. I didn't see we have been doing a good job of that, but let's yeah, where are you going? I'm going to the beach. <laughs> oh, happy place for Gina. I'm on my way to the beach. Yes, I'm excited. It's nice out. It's like 80, it's gonna be like 80 something degrees. So I'm looking at the comments too. Um, but yeah, it's a the beach is my church. <laughs> That's where I'm going. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. That's a nice place for a new beginning. That my uh, family's all vacationing now. Went to Florida to the beach, and it's exciting. And it's nice to be uh, in the house alone. But it's really nice to know that they're doing something that's going to be so restoring. Like there's, there's so good for you to be at the beach, man. It's just so good for you. It's been a minute. I don't remember the last, like the last time we went. It was cold. I think it was like a month or so ago I went to the beach and it was, it, we were, it was a little chilly. So I don't think, the, I think the water is still going to be cold, but I don't care. I won't, I just love like the cold water. I <laughs> love when it's cold like that. Oh no, it's I won't cool. go in. I freeze. Oh my God, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love the contrast. All right. So someone asked, well, then someone asked, um, we did have some questions. Uh, if you want to pick out one of the questions. Uh, I did speak about the seven of clubs, you know, a lot of that relationship is, um, and you can see the self-reflections to boost each other up, you know, um, and I did send a, uh, relationship link to the group chat. Uh, I don't know if you all got it, but there should be a relationship app, but I don't know the composite for the seven of clubs and seven of hearts. Let me see. I mean, seven of clubs and the king of hearts. Because that was a relationship question also. So King of Hearts and the Seven of Clubs, you want to know the composite for it? It would be the Jack of Diamonds. Is the the Jack of Diamonds? Okay. I believe so, right? It's the, the King of Clubs is a third King of Hearts is a 13, and 20 is the seven of clubs. So that's 37. 37 oh, is yeah. the Jack of Diamonds. You know, that makes total sense. That would make any time a king and a seven come together it's a jack i would think and which you know there's that other initiation part right you know what i mean where you have mm -hmm. to kind of either decide what side of the fence are you going to be on you know i call mm -hmm. it that peasant side or that royal side you know because the, the jacks can ride the the fence so it would i think being a seven and to be with the king you you kind of have to grow you have to you know mature and and, and not op not operate on the lower side of that jack but again it, it could test you as well so i remember but learning that way you commented the seven of diamonds my first husband philip uh it was the seven of diamonds 
And I can definitely see that that happened. I can definitely see, I mean, like the way the narrative went, it's like some of what he was involved with at that time. And the character that I was kind of was a real pull up to some of his behaviors. And he stopped doing a lot of different things because he got the call to like meet the king and have babies and get married and all that other stuff. But uh, there was a big shift for him. <clears throat> But uh, I had a hard time dealing with uh, some of the ways that he would be so considering everybody else. I think my bratty king, king of diamonds is like, Jesus, why do we got to think about everybody else so freaking much? But the seven of diamonds that he was, was very considerate of others. And he taught me a lot. Also with that relationship, let me see. As a composite, I'm going to look at the composite for it. Well, what do you do in the seven of diamonds and the uh, king of diamonds? Or the, what, what you want the seven of diamonds and the king of hearts. Oh, good one. Okay. So that oh, is. Well, actually, I think it's the seven of spades. Let me see. Let me do this. 46. Yeah, it's the seven of spades. Is that what you said? I don't know if that's what you Seven said. Seven of spades, yeah. Mm -hmm. 46. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, um, also, so for that, this, the composite with the seven of spades, seven of diamonds and the seven of spades, uh, you have the ace of diamonds. So for the both of them, you have the ace of diamonds and seven of hearts. So it's a desire for wealth uh, and also friendship, you know. So the king of hearts and one of those people that just, want to be friends. Seven of Hearts as well. A lot of them have platonic relationships. Uh, seven mm -hmm. of Hearts and re really turn uh, a, you know, a husband or a wife um, that, that they were just friends with. And then it became that they had this, this love for each other. And, and then they, you know, what they call it, like a common marriage or whatever. <laughs> but they, they, they have platonic relationships a lot of times. Uh, and they have really strong friendships, you know, um, and they actually would want to have like a kumbaya, right? But so the king of hearts and the just won't say friendship or relationship, you know, that, that's really they can depend on someone that can they can um, have a maybe a spiritual relationship with this particular person. And also mm -hmm. what keeps it together is the eight of diamonds. Um, so resources how, building the king, how does the eight of diamonds keep it together help me uh it's a combination it's another combination i sent the website i don't know if y'all ever seen it before uh it's on seven reflections so you can go on there and look at the relationship test and then explain a little bit more or go into a little bit more depth but the final result for that relationship relationship <laughs> is the club so Universal understanding, knowledge, maybe even a spiritual understanding of, um, but understanding of who, whichever uh, one like like let's say if someone is like a church going person, the other one is more of like more spiritual. You know, maybe not tarot, but just believes mm -hmm. in everything. But there can mm -hmm. be a mutual understanding. You know, a universal knowledge that that can intertwine them. You know, I understand your religion, you understand mine. So, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just us having a base of uh, religion or, or a base of uh, theory together, you know, in some type of way um, that we can both understand each other and, and let people be people, kind of what, mm -hmm. what I said, seven, seven hearts and the king of spades. So- That makes sense. Uh, uh, so kind of like a universal truth you know, success and spreading higher truths and just a universal understanding. So Nine of Clubs is a, is a teacher as well, you know? So so even lifting each other up or in, in each other's perspective, knowledge or whatever it may be, or supporting each other, you know? Nine of Clubs has a queen of hearts, so comfort, home, mothering, you know? So they need someone to kind of boost them up a lot of times, mm -hmm. which is like a strong partner. Yeah. So let me see. That's the like seven of diamonds and the king of hearts. Um, in their lifetime, we kind of went through that a little bit with the king of hearts. So that's kind of why I want to explain the king of hearts in the beginning a little bit. 
uh, as well. So you can really understand the life path of the King of Hearts. The life path is around um, lifting other people up. You know, there is a social aspect of the King of Hearts. You know, either it's involved with family and their relationships with friends and family, or they're, you know, in a social group or a brotherhood. So it's a brotherhood. That's all I was saying. That's a brother. That's probably why I got Paul's. So I was on brotherly love. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, I, I thought you were about to say something. No, no, I, I definitely, uh, I definitely think of all that's true. The King of Hearts wants to be friends with everybody, keep her brotherhood, sisterhood, make people feel good. But there is uh, some King of Hearts energy that can be, um, I don't know, kind of strong-willed sometimes. As much as they can also be very harmonizing to their environment, like. When I was away at Costa Rica, I was reflected by this really wonderful Five of Diamonds elder. And she was saying, like, you just can connect to everybody. You just make everybody feel better, this and that kind of stuff. So I think that's that energy. There's like a magnetic energy that kind of comes with that card. But I think they're not by end. I think there's a way that their ability to kind of like, work well with others and really listen to the other is important for that like attunement and working together because i think that's what actually makes the next possibility happen right so mm -hmm. me making a good vibe and people liking me and laughing when i'm there okay but being able to use that to develop more you know shared experiences you know, ideas that could help people grow. Like that's a different level of using the harmonizer. Like Rob, who used to come to Clubhouse with me, actually invited me to the Clubhouse the first time back. He used to, we used to call him like he's a tuning fork. He's like a harmonizer. Like wherever he goes, once he connects to the hearts and the things like there's festivals we've gone to together, he had such a magnetic way about him. It would like really fill him up to be in that space, to be able to move that energy, right? But then it's like, where does it go from there? Like, what's the next level? Like you can be the, the happy king at the party, but then like, what else? like not just the personality you know like what does it build what does it do yeah i was looking at something um well i didn't look at it I actually meant to click on it and then i clicked back on it and it was gone but he was going into the levels of relationships and i do know the first level that's all i got to see <laughs> was <laughs> was the introduction you know so how do you get to know someone and and from what you're speaking on it reminds me of that conversation because as you said what are the levels of relationships you know um yeah you can introduce yourself you can be this bright full person you know um but is there any type of communication issues or problems and that's an, another thing i was speaking about the two of clubs earlier and the king of hearts you know yeah are there communication issues as well you know mm -hmm. um, because of the challenge of the king of hearts is the two of clubs you know so are you being heard you know um, or are you communicating or are you connecting with people? You know, are you building relationships? Are you um, asking questions? You know, um, the two of clubs is a card of fear, you know? So is there any type of fear, you know, that, or any type of uh, self doubt that can be in, in that card as well? So two mm -hmm. people, so communicating and fearing, you know, communicating with people possibly as well but overall on the on the strength side you know if they can use the positive aspects they can break down barriers or any type of fear in between those things or, or not wanting to connect with people also with the king of hearts and that two of clubs that's one of the things that they can get over you know it's not like a physical ailment it's more mental so it's mm -hmm. something that they can break through is something that they may have to go to a psychologist or someone about nine times out of ten if there is communication issues you know and, mm -hmm. and or or they're not able to have um harmonizing relationships as you said because again they have the six of hearts they have relationships that are long lasting you know or supposed to be long lasting you know as i said mm -hmm. if there's a break it doesn't come from them so they both have these relationships be able to build relationships but if they can't, why not? You know, it's the problem. nine times out of ten, it, like we said, the two of clubs and the nine of spades. Um, and a lot of their troubles, 
comes from the knowledge base as, as well, circumstances that's as I was speaking of, of earlier, that they can't control, you know. So mm -hmm. and they are pretty stubborn and ensure themselves and of the, maybe the principles that they have or they stand with as well. So um, that that's mm -hmm. what they tend to be fixed, but not too fixed. And as it's, they say, rulership or needing to be, you know, center stage or have complete control over something that can kind of take the back seat. And again, they may be comfortable not speaking, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, we'll They're pretty else. sensitive too. They're pretty sensitive people. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like sensitive, like, yeah, like, you know, be careful around me. Like, you know, like um, my uh, father outlaw, Philip's father is the king of hearts. I didn't know that when we first were together, but we would banter and we'd go at each other. But there'd be times sometimes where like the hairs would go up and you kind of didn't know it was coming. And like, and then there'd be ways that, you know, like things weren't said that could have been said, you know? So there, I was always a little bit more like, well, what do you mean he feels like that? Why didn't he just say that? And they would be like, he's not gonna say that. Like, he wouldn't say that. I'm like, well, why wouldn't he tell me, you know? So, I mean, I, I'm a girl, King of Hearts, and I'm me. So it was a little different than the way he played his Sagittarius, King of Hearts, a man born. You know, he's going to be 8, 90 this year. So you know, he's a much older generation. But he would mm -hmm. keep it to himself, but you would kind of know it. You know, like the frequency would change. You know, you'd know he was upset about something, you know. So they're sensitive. Yeah, defensive disappointment. Um Defensive uh, is a way to say sensitive. That's true too. Whenever. <laughs> no, I, no, I was saying that's what I wrote down earlier uh, mm -hmm. about the two of clubs. So uh, quick, quick to anger, you know, uh, could happen or being betrayed, quarrelsome, yeah. in defense, you know, um, uh, weaker ones would build up fear and attempt to mm -hmm. dominate uh, in some type of way. Um, mm -hmm. or some of the things. I don't know what I wrote down earlier, but um, yeah, that, that can happen, you know. Uh, I think the King of Hearts can be defensive, emotional, you know. Um, and the Seven of Clubs as well, um, there is um, something about them as well, you know, having those relationships, you know, and being defensive <clears throat> is one of those things that they have to learn. So that can be something those two can be learning as well. So emotional control, you know. Cause I sit, sit Mars, Mercury, you know, and they displace the two of clubs. Mars, Mercury, that can be, I can hurt your feelings. <laughs> that, that's, that's Mars, Mercury. Like I, I, I will hurt your feelings and not to say I wouldn't mm -hmm. care about it, but you know, I just have to take the consequences that come with it because that, they're coming, especially with the King of Hearts, the Six of Hearts <clears throat> and Venus. Oh, you're going to get the consequences, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's all going to come back out. It's very true. It's hard to hide from yourself in relationships. Yourself gets mirrored all the time. All yeah, the time. And that's what it is. That's a relationship. That exactly what that is. A, a mirror within you look at somebody. Yeah. But King of Hearts at times can be very judgmental and base their actions on those judgments. is going to be totally wrong and misleading. Oh, golly, Lisa. That's so true. That's so mm -hmm. true. I mean, I'm sure that that happens to me in certain areas. And I know in close to my heart, a couple of people who have made judgments and then based their actions on those judgments and really took a lot of things left and like really changed what was possible because the judgment took over the character. I think it's a way that the defensiveness turns into a protection and the judgment's like a shield. But I hear you. What do you think, Gina? I think they all have that sense of you know the judgment and because of a ma that mastery type of energy like they they don't sometimes with the king energy it's hard for them to see it a different way they can have a lot of that fixed energy um so that it's their way or the highway type stuff at times mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah fixed principles you know they have the eight of clubs so it may be for fixed you know, in that state of mind or what they may think. Um, and the jacks are judges as well. The jack is the jack of spades they may have and um Mercury Venus one, two, three, Saturn. Yeah, Jack of Spades and Saturn.
Um, so they may be hard on themselves and may not say it, um, but <clears throat> the jack of spades is is something that's curious, you know. Um, they can often often be seen as like doctors, so they're always asking questions, trying to figure everybody out, figure everybody else out, right? Um, jack of spades can be also someone that can um, or a card that kind of disguises their own self or, or how they may feel as well, you know, uh, or come in disguise, right? So being able to hide themselves or, or hide something about themselves in some type of way, you know. Um, so with the Eight of Clubs and with Saturn and Uranus, that's where the fixed principles could possibly come from as well, and also the Four of Clubs and Mars. You know, so having fixed ways, you know, fixed way of thinking, you know, a fixed mindset is also that the eight of clubs and that four of clubs. So, yeah, so they can have, you know, fixed patterns <clears throat> in certain ways as well. <clears throat> Let me see. Was there anything else as far as the comments? I want to get to some of the other questions as well. Any other questions in the comments you see? Hmm. I'm looking. Um, JLo says, Elise Lattimore, I see my son in law start with my two clubs. I say, when she explodes, you poke the bear, don't complain. Mm -hmm. uh, we do know two clubs can be bears. Um, I don't see any more right. questions. Um, no, if anybody has something that they asked, Put it in there. I hear Rashad wanting to make sure he's meeting your call. So if you want to bring something up, do it. Otherwise, yeah, let's go to your other questions or things that you put in the post. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> um, the other question. It was the five of spades one. There was like a combination that was the five of spades. I remember one of them being. Yeah, someone's husband was a Leo, king of hearts. Um, and they are a Virgo. So in our composite card is a five of spades. I love to hear your thoughts on that. So the five of spades is, I did kind of bring that up. So that's the five of spades is about change as Gina is driving in motion right now. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to travel a lot or you may travel a lot. There could be restlessness, maybe in the relationship as well. But, but change as far as occupation or maybe even motivating each other as well. I think, you know, fives need needs uh, opinions of others. Five Fives branch out, I think, as well. They need freedom, you know. So freedom of thought, freedom of a, opinion, you know. So mm -hmm. um, with the five of spades and six, um, um, like Mars, Venus, you know, so they can also maybe even indulge into technology or, or something creative together as well, you know, something that can, something that you both love possibly. Um, so how do you enjoy your time together, you know, um, and how do you have fun? And maybe <clears throat> because you, I'm not saying just because you're a Virgo, um, but there, there may be a sense of working a, a lot or you know, being critical, you know, and it may open you up and seeing that you may have to get out of your daily tasks or the things that you normally do and get out and have fun, you know, um, ha maybe cr have or create change, you know. So there's creating a fine ba balance within your relationship, you know. So the on another level, the five of diamonds, maybe maybe appreciate the, the mental activities within the relationship, you know, so and also maybe wanting to be recognized or there should be, or maybe some recognition within that relationship as well. Um, but both with the 10 of clubs and five of hearts is on another level, what power does it give you <clears throat> within that relationship? And what keeps you together is the two of diamonds, you know, so the compromising within the relationship, maybe keep the, you, you two together, maybe, maybe compromise, maybe find enjoyment, but also financially as well, um, partnership. So there may be a strong sense of partnership, you know, that someone may feel within the relationship as well. Um, and the final transformation for that card is the Queen of Hearts, you know, so that 
you may remind him of his mother and maybe take care of him like his mom, right? <laughs> but comfort, love, I don't know if you have children, but there's a, you know, passionate sense of, of love there. Another set of people I know, they they also have the five of spades as their composite and their child is a, four, a two of diamonds. So I thought that was interesting when you said the two of diamonds kind of keeps them together. <laughs> Like, oh, that's yeah, that's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So that sounds good. That sounds like it, it's a fair blurb on it. Jayla wants to know, I would love to know the karmic relationship might be for the king of hearts and two of clubs would be interesting to know a little since they created an eight of diamonds. So a two of clubs is a 15 and a 13. So that's a 28. So they have their, their combination is a two of diamonds and they made an eight of diamonds. What do you think? So the combination is which cards? <clears throat> well, their relationship is a king of hearts and two of clubs. King hearts is 13, two of clubs is 15, right? So that's 28. A 28 is a two of diamonds. So their combination is a two of diamonds and they made an eight of diamonds. And she wants to know the karmic relationship that might be between the king of hearts and the two. I mean, that's like the future karma in the king of hearts, right? Isn't the two of clubs right there? Like, just like the three of clubs is in the king of diamonds, I, the, the, the karma card or... I don't know what to call it now because we talk about it like North Node, South Node, positive karma, negative karma. I don't know. But isn't the two of clubs sitting where the three of clubs sits for the king of diamonds, for the king of hearts? So wouldn't that be like forward moving for that person because it's moving you to your challenges? Um. So what was the composite card again? The two of diamonds, 28. The two of diamonds. I'll look at the, um, and what was the birth? I look at the so it might be for the king of hearts and two clubs. two clubs and the king of hearts and they created eight of diamonds right so yeah i'll look at the composite for each one um, oh, okay and, for the parents and the kid too yeah i would just look at all of it kind of separately okay <clears throat> so it's a 49 so that's a 10 okay Gina, what that's do you think? Of, that's a two of spades or two of clubs? Clubs, it looks like to me. Clubs, I can't, I can't really tell. I know, me too. I was like looking up nice and close. It's pretty sure it's a club. Yeah, can you, um, J -Lo, can you write that out? I can't really tell. I don't know if that's a club or a diamond. Um, but the, yeah, so the composite is a two of diamonds. <clears throat> okay, so it's a club. So the composite is a two of diamonds. Uh, they don't have an eight of diamonds in. So for the two of them is is a diamond, um, which is as far as the communication field. Um, so how they communicate is about business, finances. And with the eight of diamonds, you know, posit on a positive standpoint, maybe them helping them some way financially. <laughs> um, and maybe in the long run, right? as far as maybe inspiring, you know, or just the greediness from the eight of diamonds just overall, you know. So we often say children are blessings, as we can see. That's I think that's one reason we look at composites as well, to see what the energy that the child or whomever is coming to the life is bringing. Um, so that can be partnerships. So within this, the relationship is companionship as far as financially, so business dealings, investments, you know, contracts, documents, and all of those things. And so with the eight of diamonds is overcoming something financially, right? So that sign, you know, it could be a sign symbol, uh, would be the family or, or the couple maybe tackling a task that they had, you know, once had issues with, or there were certain hurdles maybe in the way. And the eight of diamonds kind of maybe coming in and inspiring that type of energy, right? Possibly. So that's kind of like the relationship, you know, kind of the energy with the, let's see, with the eight of diamonds and just the king of hearts. 
Do I see the eight of diamonds? That may have been a question as well. Let me just check. One eighteen. Um, <clears throat> the eight of spades would be the eight of so less physical power, health. I had to say physical power, health. You know, overcoming obstacles, hard work, determination. So again, another eight kind of was the result of that king of hearts and the eight eight of diamonds. Um. So look at all the kings. So actually, I'm tripping. So um, all the kings, when you do a composite, I think it's your own card, if I'm not mistaken, within within that card. Let me see. Well, the two of clubs is the 15, and then the 12, 15 and 12 yeah, would be seven. Hmm. And that'd be an ace of diamonds, but with the king would be a two of diamonds. For which one? For cosmic flower, the one that says, I'm a two of spades. Is that spades or clubs? Oh, how's your spades? So that's a 41. Um, I'm a two of spades, and my father is a queen of hearts. So 41 plus 12 is 53. So that's an ace of hearts with a king of Hearts personality card. So that would be the two of hearts. What's the relationship composite? So it's the ace of hearts or the two of hearts for the two of spades and the queen of hearts and king of hearts. Yeah. That's what that is. So I'm a two of two of spades. Two of spades is a 41. And the and 12 is the queen of hearts and 13 is the king. So 41 and 12. 53, and that would be minus 52 is the ace of hearts. It's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the ace of hearts is, <laughs> um, of course, um, the child and the parent, right? The ace of hearts is the, the baby card. So, of course, the hearts are all about love, relationships, and inspiration, again, with the ace of hearts. That's a lot of cards that inspire uh, different ways. Um, and so, of course, the, the King of Hearts is, I think, inspired as far as forgiveness. And I think the Ace of Hearts inspire someone to be childlike, you know, uh, to have fun, art, artistic. Um, was, of course, the King of Hearts is the artist as well. Um, but just the love of music, you know, so there's, there's a love for something whether it's art, music, you know, so there's an inspired inspiration or some type of shared love maybe within the relationship somehow. <clears throat> so um, so I think as we all grow older, we want someone to kind of keep us young. <laughs> so I can imagine maybe some type of youthful um, relationship or activity, something, you know, that, that keep both of y'all young in some type of way. So. The Ace of Hearts is, again, like I said, kids. I don't know if there's any grandkids or children, you know, so I can imagine mm -hmm. what the relationship is right as, as, as like as well. So let me see. And you all respond as well. I don't know if there's any other questions or anything that I'm speaking of that would be relatable. And the Ace of Hearts is a humanitarian as well. Uh, also, so that, that could be giving back or maybe um, philanthropy in some type of way, you know, I don't know if there's some type of business, you know, um, that you speak about or that you're inspired to do that you can share, share to each other in some type of likeness, you know, so maybe social work or something that you both did possibly as well. Mm -hmm. And this was um, um, the father? Yeah, she said that there was her father was the queen of hearts, so a king of hearts personality. Yeah, the personality <clears throat> really goes into the person. You know, um, it, can, it can differ because the personality cards, 
or something you may not see. Mm -hmm. Until you really get to know someone. Yeah. yeah, well, again, we talk about how relationships are how you kind of get revealed, right? Because it's in the mirrors and the reflections of the relationship that you find out what you do when that happens. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're by yourself, certain discomforts don't happen. But when you're dynamic with another, you're like, Oh man, when they did that, look what I did. What's going on there? Hmm. <laughs> and if they can live up to it as well, depending on what type of car. The king, queens, all those cars are really hard to live up to a lot of times as well. Some people do it better than others. <laughs> um, but we all are fighting to be our own queens and kings in our own likelihood, in our own flight, plight. So, so it's understandable. So... I kind of went I through. The main trick is not getting caught in the perfectionism. Like I think one of the traps for the kings that I live and know and feel to be, there can be a perfectionism that can really limit your ability to have fun. Do you know, like a way that you think it has to be because of the pressure of the crown or the way that you took the information in from your life and what you think is important. But that idea of perfection can really cut into creativity sometimes like you know it can hold people back yeah it does <clears throat> that's that mirror thing i was talking about earlier mm -hmm, it definitely mm -hmm. up in mm -hmm. um it's, it's really looking into the mirror and that can come with perfectionism too you know um surgeries i would mention i guess with the seven of hearts can happen as well seven of hearts um four of diamonds ten of clubs maybe um who else seven of clubs i said seven of spades king of clubs maybe queen of diamonds maybe but all of those people could possibly have surgeries based upon perfectionism you know adjusting yeah. one of their knife and maybe <clears throat> cars in that market it's so debilitating right you know like because here you have like creativity that's meant to come through the clarity that you bring and then there's some narrative or hook or heaviness it's like oh what if oh, i better not what if? it's like oh what a heavy thing right just cry they say when we pass we get to see the what is so i don't know <laughs> someone a great man once said live without the what is so um live for the now in the most positive standpoint, right? So work with what you have now to your best of abilities and expand on that. No, thank you. I can age like fine wine. <laughs> I agree, JLo. I mean, like that's the whole thing. I mean, I will say as I'm getting older, the perfectionist stuff that's in my character doesn't seem to be as loud as it once was. But uh, my, my psychoness was around being a mother. It wasn't necessarily around being a person or being authentic. I never felt anything but strong there. But around being a parent, sometimes I would second guess and undermine my confidence and what a mess it would be. And I agree that we do age and become more liberated of some of those distortions in our mind. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, mental seven, all the sevens. One thing about the queens, <clears throat> they all have sevens in Pluto as well. So um, they, they definitely do have a heavy crown. And the reward actually for the kings would be the seven. So there's a relationship primarily in the spiritual spirit, as Gina was saying, not just, just the crowning, but that being the reward also. So for the kings. So there's, there's, there's definitely some, maybe some. Um, something there mentally that's happening as far as the reward or feeling what, like what you have to have. Um, another question um, that someone has was about the queen of clubs and that's transforming into the king of hearts. Um, do you know any queen of clubs or how do you feel about the relationship with the queen of hearts? I'm, I'm been heart like, I've been totally sandwiched recently with two queen of clubs. That's why it was fun to see Menorah. She's one too. Um, uh, yeah, that Donna, she's a queen of clubs and our composite is a queen of hearts. And we're still chatting about ways to create things for a family card table and ways to look at families and raising children more specifically. 
And uh, there's another lady named Sangoma, who you met one time, who came in. She's mm -hmm. a, an African Aribe woman, and she just made a deck of cards called the Truth Deck, and she uses the 52 cards. And the way it was inspired from the little bit she shared with me, and I, I want to speak it wisely, she did an AI thing and pulled out some images of different things and from the images was able to acquire this wisdom about the truth and the cards in these 52. So I haven't seen the deck yet. It's just come out. So, and they both are like in my circle right now with that queen of hearts energy and just, you know, and, and I am finding working with them to be very clear, like good communication, you know what I mean? Very emotionally based, but not like dramatic. Do you know what I mean? Like getting to the point. So I'm enjoying the dynamics of the the Queen of Hearts with those two Queen of Clubs very much. Mm. Yeah, so there's definitely a, um, some social work there. I was speaking mm -hmm. about that. the King of Hearts is Mars Mercury. So they, they come from up, they, they always become um, advocates, you know, activists in some type of way as well, you know, for people or maybe on some type of social platform, you know, teaching, you know. So they, they're the father, as you, you may see. And a lot of times they say the queen of clubs ends up with their children or, or there could be possibilities or, or possible um things that go into like the courts, you know, as well. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. have custody or custody problems, you know, with their children in some, in some way as well. So the, the king, so they have the Jack of Hearts in Pluto, which is children as well. So there's mm -hmm. something about children and protecting other people in if, with the queen of clubs a lot of times. So the um, king of hearts for them and Gina kind of spoke about it last week, uh, looking at your transformation. So your transformation is something that is kind of hard to, I want to say it's kind of hard to get to. It's something you have to work to. Some people believe or look at the cards as you'll never get there. <laughs> like, like really, yeah. transformation, you'll never get there. So like Ace of Diamonds or whatever, that won't happen. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's how they say it completely. Right. Uh, I'm, Maybe I'm just I'm just being blunt. <laughs> how I'm taking it. Yeah, that's how um, I'm they say that you'll never reach that card into the to its entirety. So it's something that you can't claim, you know, mm -hmm. until to death, I guess. But you know, I'm a person that I believe in death and rebirth. <laughs> Me too. Um, and so with the I wish there was a way to find out if somebody came back as their next card, you know? Like it's like, so what if like I transformed in my next life to an ace of diamonds, or you became a four of clubs in your next life. Do you know what I mean? I wonder about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know. I, I think there's going to be a speaking child who looks at the card, and they're going to tell us who they were in their past life. And, mm -hmm. and we'll try to oh, come okay. out the kids and do that, right? <laughs> we're we're going to connect the dots of all the kids, see which day was born, and be like, Okay, do you remember the birth date of that person? All right, that's how we can test them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I but, <laughs> but the um, it, I think the King of Hearts is like one of the the John. I don't know if it's not John the Baptist, David. It's one of them, right? So that advocate for people, you know, or the the, the principle of love. So being fixed in your principle and who you are. And then one of those fixed principles is definitely love and supposed to be forgiveness, right? Um, on the other side, so there's teachers, um, counselors, musicians, you know, um, people that can guide and lead other people, you know. But as we were kind of saying earlier, uh, it's using your voice. So the Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, it's Mercury, Mars. So some of them can be temperamental, be very temperamental. You know, they may say certain things, may be able to cut people a certain type of way. But so using all that love and, and using that wisdom um, that you have that can cut people to on the, on the other end to help people, right? So mm -hmm. being able to help people socially and guide them. So a lot of times um, the clubs are, are considered like the clergymen, the people that, or maybe people that's working in the office. You know, that's that's helping other people. The King of Hearts is 
like I said, it doesn't have to be the leader, but it can mm -hmm. be the leader if it wants to. It can be on center stage and helping people, right? So it can mm -hmm. be a person that can, that's organizing people on a grander scale than maybe just the office in itself, or maybe someone that that has their own business, you know, rather than just working for someone else, or maybe leading the corporation or the company in some type of way, or maybe sac I want to say sacrificing, or maybe working with. Um, working for a higher cause or schools or pets or working with pets or something, you know, in some type of way or, or shelter in, in some type of way. Um, mm -hmm. But King of Hearts is, a, is one of those cards. It's all Kings has the ability to do a lot of different things, but definitely being a leader um, or being someone else that could possibly be center stage and helping people or maybe in the back um, behind the scenes, helping people in some type of way. So, Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. Do you want to hear what else they want to say? Do you can you see that? Um, can you speak to the Queen of Hearts tendency to losing their spouse to death? I don't know about that. Have you heard about that, Rochelle? Um, I said Neptune, Neptune. I don't know about all the time. Um, haven't seen that written. Maybe I should. I'm gonna look a little bit more. Um, but it is, I do see the Queen of Hearts as being the nun. I, always, I do speak about that or, or uh, Mother Teresa. Um, so there can be a sabbatical or, or some type of isolation that happens in some, some type of way where they go into this spiritual path just by themselves. So there can be a separation or divorce that happen. That's why I was going to speak. That's why I said the Queen of Clubs can be court. Something that happens in the court, I didn't want to say, but there can be a divorce for the Queen of Clubs and Mercury. So there can be a divorce within the relationships with the tennis space. So there can be a separation or maybe something from their spouse. I always say divorce or some, some type of way. But yeah, the tennis space and space in general do represent death in some type of way. So it is the earth, it is the death a lot of times. That's why I would say the ace of spades and nine of spades is the death and rebirth cards. You know, so um, the ten of spades sitting up to Neptune can be, you know, uh, also death or maybe even needing therapy, you know, or having people around you in a social group that need some type of group therapy, uh, deep, deep therapy um, in some type of way. All right. And then there's one other thing um, with the queen, the queen, the queen of clubs transforms into the king of hearts how does the two of hearts play out that both have as their moon one cosmic and the other moon to the king of hearts uh, relationships <laughs> I was I was telling somebody uh -huh. that was a funny sound <laughs> <laughs> I was I was telling a queen of clubs about the, I read something from a book as well. Cause I was telling about the relationships and how they desire a certain type of relationship and it can be around money or wealth and how they desire some type of famous relationship. I wanna say famous, but it could be a crush. Um, but the two of hearts overall <clears throat> for the queen of clubs is, isn't just a rich relationship. It's more of a soulmate type of energy, you know, deep desire. Uh, that's kind of probably what got, <laughs> got a lot of, Three of diamonds in trouble, you know, is a deep need for companionship <laughs> um, <laughs> or, a spiritual, or a spiritual relationship, someone you can speak to, right? So just someone that you can communicate with. So let me read Two of Hearts and the Moon from this book. So it says the can indicate uh, much security and happiness and love. Your emotion, emotional needs are being met, and you are very content and secure in love. You may find security and peace within a close friendship as well. A relationship with your mother may become more important. On the other side of the coin, emotional fears may uh, surface, possibly from patterns formed in childhood or having to do with your mother. You have to deal with. Uh, or you may have to deal with this uh, for the year. Also, a woman indicate the birth of a child. But um, 
But yeah, that's what I said that gets the third time in trouble is curiosity killed the cat. That's what I say. <laughs> For the three diamonds, that's definitely what get get us in trouble. Is curiosity killed the cat? <laughs> um, so then, does it mean that you're not listening to your instincts and your intuition? Like that, like when the excitement and the curiosity or the adrenaline comes, does it start like a a revving up that kind of like keeps you from paying attention to the ripples? Like, how do you think it plays out? Yeah, ripples. Um, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it definitely does. It, it's definitely one of those things that um, that you have to control yourself, control your mind, control your emotions. You know, um, self control. You know, um, the knowledge of self, not not succumbing to your fears, or not, and also not succumbing to um, your your passions, you know, whatever, whatever that may be. So, yeah, it takes a lot of self-control. So even with the queen of clubs and the two of hearts, that can be a person. And I know some queen of clubs that have waited, they do long distance relationships that they can be very patient with their relationships. And I think that is yeah, something, um, that is something of, that comes from that two of clubs as well, of knowing and being secure maybe within your relationship you know, um, or having this deep desire of love for someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, a three is kind of willing to play, but it's a bummer that when they play, the curiosity kills the cat, like it goes bad, you know? Mm -hmm. I heard you say the threes, curiosity kills the cat, but also, the threes like to play. They like to do new things. They like to try things. Mm -hmm. So I'm just reframing it around like what shifts so that you can do that great opportunity to try things, but not kill the cat. You know what I mean? <laughs> not kill the cat. No, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's not kill the cat uh, for sure. Um, yeah, and not be not being fearful, you know. So mm -hmm. Yeah, being able to explore, letting people know who you are, you know, diving into the inner depths of your desires with someone, you know, and having, and that's why it takes a really close relationship as well. Mm -hmm. Trial and error for threes. Yeah, definitely trial and error. Um, you can wear an aluminum dance, dunce cap to control your mental mind too, said Jayla. <laughs> <We're> the, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, it's, it's not me, right? It's not me. It's coming from from the universe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, you are uh, really psychic. You got that ace of spades. You are really oh, yeah, psychic. Yeah, yeah, Probably that, that. like a discernment piece for real, right? Well, yeah, that too. Yeah, that does also come from a very uh, a psychic having, or I wouldn't even say wanting, getting a, a lot of times someone that is. What Kevin Gates says is psycho connected a lot of times. Someone that, <laughs> yeah, someone has a, a very, I get this all the time. So I was just thinking about you type of things. I think we all do once you have that type of relationship with someone. I think, mm -hmm. you know, and those mm -hmm. other relationships that we desire. So having those type of relationships that when you're thinking of someone, they text you, you know, you having that type of, uh, uh, type of relationship with someone where um, y'all are on the same level as well, energetically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, Gina's with us. She's here, but she's not here in the physical. <laughs> but she said uh, it's control as well, you know, um, control issues. Yeah, definitely control issues. That comes with the king of hearts as well. So that, that be, with the three of diamonds, that being the reward, but having control yeah, no, we can't hear you. Um, I can see you typing. But yeah, it can be a control thing, not getting getting your way and within the relationship because you want that satisfaction or that type of relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that can, that's the queen of clubs, um, that two of hearts. Let me go back to the phone, see if there's there was any other questions. Um, so we spoke a lot about the seven of clubs, seven of diamonds. 
kind of tackled that. Oh, she she went out. Um, talked about the composite, the King of Hearts. My birth card is the eight. Uh, I didn't get. I don't know the eight of eight of hearts challenging. Let me go back to it because I didn't get. I don't think I sent the. It didn't copy it right. My birth card is the eight of hearts. Eight of hearts is the King of Hearts challenging karma card on my yearly plate. My brother and God child are the King of Hearts. Um, so displacing the King of Hearts. I spoke about that a lot of times. A few times, rather. Can you hear me now? Yes? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was trying to talk and everything, but I guess you all didn't hear me. That's all right. No, you're um, good. good. Well, no, I wanted to speak about that too real quick with the with the queen and the question, because the, I think what, you know, yeah, relationships are really important to them, but at the same time, like, they, there's that element of control that those twos have, like, trying to control others, control the relationship, and, you know, a lot of times with the queen of clubs, the, the relationships will have them, you know, dethrone themselves, you know, because of that essence of having to control things, so I think that can play, even with the kings, there's that element of control as well with them trying to mm -hmm. control the situation, control others, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That over that overly dominant, not being overly dominant, overly dominant. And that's one thing about the king of the queen of, king of clubs with that Mercury, um, that Mars Mercury aspect. Um, is them verbally being dominant in their relationship, you know, verbal abuse. In some type of way, either they got it, you know, and they may become defensive about it, you know, or, or you may have to just watch yourself the way that you speak to people within your relationship. But I know some queen of clubs are really, really cool. You know, they only get that way in their relationships. You really won't see them like that unless they're drunk <laughs> outside, unless, unless they're mad a little bit. I call but on the inside, they're really nice people. <laughs> it's like they're talking about, you know, they, they can be those type of people. Um, because I call Queen of Clubs and all of those Queen of Hearts. Unless they're drinking. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. There can be some alcohol that comes with the Queen of Clubs usually. And if they can handle it, they can just be a bright, fool and, and cheerful person. If they can't, <laughs> you may get to see the other side of them, that, that Mars Mercury side, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think... Uh, the oh yeah the question with the eight of hearts so the eight of hearts is is challenging me for the year uh on plate and my brother and god child is a is a is a king of hearts so let's go let me go to plate um it's plate 48 um if uh, i know gene is driving i don't know madeline if you have the plates or not And that's very dope. The brother is the king of hearts because someone that's supposed to protect you, you know. So, um, but there could be a challenge with it being the king of hearts, right? And that's your challenge card. So, or it could be you seeing things from their perspective in some type of way. Um, is that the right play? I have a book that has them. I can't get it in, on my computer right now. But tell me what plate you're looking for, and I can open up the book. 48. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to starting. No, that's not. I'm not on that plate. King King of is challenge. King of Clubs is challenge on 48. I'm not real sure. But my birth card is the Eight of Hearts. On the for the Eight of Hearts, okay. <clears throat> On plate forty-eight. You, you eight of Hearts, plate forty-eight. Correct. Yeah, the challenge is the Five of Diamonds, which is business or change in business. Uh, could be confusion, you know. So be flexible, right? If whatever the Five is asking, because the Kings and the Eights can be a little bit inflexible, right? So it would you would need to be flexible in business, be open to change, be open to others' opinions, be adaptable. Don't get so stuck because that's a part of those eights in the king. Mm -hmm. 
And the King of Diamonds is in Neptune as well. So that's um, just not just. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. They're in Neptune. It's the Ten of Hearts in Mercury, Nine of Hearts in Venus, Four of Spades in Mars, Seven of Spades in Jupiter, Jack of Spades in Saturn, Four of Diamonds in Uranus, King of Diamonds in Neptune, and Four of Hearts long range. Yeah, so um, the king of diamonds and Neptune. So just not just being flexible, like Gina said, being open to new ideas, you know, being open to the advice of others, you know, having someone that's around that has probably been in the business before as well. Um, Cause a lot of times with Kings, you know, you want to have people or counsel or people with experience around you as well, you know? So maybe, I want to say maybe a mentor or having a mentor being a part or, or, or a mentor group, you know, in some type of way, or maybe looking at getting advice, you know, if whatever it is that you're doing, you know, as far as business wise, because I said there could be changes, right? Gina was saying that be flexible with that five of diamonds, you know, and with the three of clubs. So writing things down as well, it could be something that you dream dream about. <clears throat> so a lot of times with the three of clubs, you want to write a lot. So getting your thoughts out, getting your ideas out, and being creative, you know. Um, so taking notes, taking heed to the advice that you get <laughs> as well, because of, of that three of clubs, and a lot of times three threes um, have a hard time with actually taking the advice and using it. So Make sure you're getting your advice and, and taking it and using it as well. Um, so let me see what the spread again. Mm, has the ten of hearts, so that's social um, giving. It has a nine of hearts and um, Venus. So that's giving, you know, a lot of times. Uh, I said sacrifice, um, but that's giving maybe socially. And kind of, I think we spoke about it. If you go back and look at the Nine of Hearts video, uh, Gina was, was speaking about how she, I believe she, I don't know if that was the week that you had the event outside in the public, but um, she gave some things away, right? If you have a business or you're testing something, you know, that's something you may want to do with the Nine of Hearts go out, test your product, give some things away see how people like it, what is the price points, pros, cons, you know. Uh, and the Saturn card is critique, you know. I was, it's, it's all saying getting someone, you know, getting advice from others, but that's also taking critique as well about your business. So the King of Diamonds have major plans. They're looking towards the future, <laughs> right? So they may have ideas that other people may not believe as well. So being... Uh, stagnant and, and, and having focus on what you dream of or what you want as well and your ultimate plan. But, you know, thinking of it as an organization or creating an organization, you know, let me see. It has a queen of diamonds, nine of diamonds. So finances and those things, it could be a challenge. With And that Saturn row, all diamonds are there. So that, that presents a challenge in some type of way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I agree about writing is important to moving the thoughts and ideas for sure. That's where I'm going today. I'm like going to go write and set the ground for the sweat lodge to grow and, and enjoy quiet in my house and let the new beginning start from the inside. Sometimes in all the holidays that have been mine, there's so much going on and I'm actually usually kind of cranky around holidays <laughs> and I'm recognizing today it's because I actually like having it by myself and like having some of my own time to meet the earth and to listen and to connect. So I hope everybody's spending their new beginning, their Easter, that uh, it's one of the first holidays to mark. You know, I know we're not all pagan, but that connection to the earth, I'm not pagan either. I just know that that earth connection is the one that I think is calling us the loudest so that we can steer ourselves differently. So that's where I'm at today. But this is a good combo. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else, any other questions. Also, that King of Diamonds is going to be an investment. You're going to have to lose some money and make some money type thing as well. That King of Diamonds in Neptune. 
because uh, it's displacing the nine of diamonds. So and you already, like I said, all diamonds are there anyways. So a king of hearts is my long range card this year. I'm an Aries, two of spades. So the um, long range card is a lot of times, I think in the Robert Camp system, it is considered like the yearly, is that correct? I think it's the, the yearly card in the long range. I mean, in the Robert Camp system, let me see. Um, but the King of Hearts, which your long range is something that you have for the year, right? Uh, so the long range is for you would be a focus as far as relationships, you know, um, mm -hmm. using, your inner, using your inner voice, you know, um, standing up for yourself and maybe other people or, or maybe protecting people, you know, it could be possible children or you feel like you want to stand up for a cause, a cause in some type of way, right? Mm -hmm. um, so fighting or taking up from some other people, maybe even educating, right? But the law of love, right? Brotherly love. <laughs> um, but the using the law of love, you know, um, to help other people. And it can be seen as um, people maybe using it to deceive people as well, what has been in the news lately, and also with Joe Biden. Um, you know what? It's very interesting. Joe Biden. Well, that's what you've been wanting to talk about the whole time. I can't believe the whole time we weren't talking about Joe Biden and the politics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't want to get too pol political because um, mm -hmm. I, I haven't been much too. I haven't been very political myself. So, um, but yeah, but he did make today, which is today Easter fell on today. This is in that. Make sure we get that right as well. Easter does not fall on the same day every year. Right. Yeah. But so, but. 331 happens to be Easter this year. Um, mm. So Biden, he made today, I think is, uh, what is today? Transgender day? And that's a six, right? Cause it's a 2008, it's an eight year and 331. Hmm. So that's a 15, which is a six. Mm. So is he practicing his six of hearts? Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah, if you 331, that's a seven plus the eight is 15. That's a six. And I guess, I mean, I do sense that all the characters are looking to kind of like find home base and settle. Like, I don't know. I know everyone thinks that some people are just evil to be evil. But I think it's just mm -hmm. how the underside of the upper side of the way you're thinking. And I was just saying, oh, did I just say that? If someone has another religion, religion of faith, you know, um, that kind of you, you have to have universal understanding. That's how I see it um, with the nines as well. Letting go of your ego, I think, mm -hmm. is one of those things. As much as, as much as we all have been raised under our um, religious homes and has ta taught, um, you know, certain things were were bad, disgusting. And transgender isn't just, um, I guess, I don't want to get it be politically wrong, gay, I guess, I don't know. Uh, if It's not just, you know, having a, a like for the opposite sex, but it's, it's, it's altering your gender, you know? So that is, that, that is a, a little different because now I think about it is, transformation we are transforming um the five of clubs is there mercury saturn as well um i can't say the five of clubs is one another card is about change right and has the five of five of hearts that is um that is challenging it you know so being yourself i was talking about freedom myself so this is a some type of uh, freedom that they have been um, given to be their self, right? With the five of clubs. So they're getting the freedom to be their self. Uh, I, the five of hearts is always, I see it, is identifying oneself. Is it Saturn and Venus? So that can be identifying yourself sexually, right? Um, furthermore, Mercury, Saturn, uh, identifying yourself 
um, you know, or identifying yourself as far as uh, grammatically or, or the way that you say or the way that you are um, referenced, you know. So um, we're talking about uh, identifying people with, and defining people, right? So, yeah, that is, I think that is the five of those energy. Yeah, I always wonder about the challenge it might be for fives to stay anywhere because they're always like looking for change and movement. Mm -hmm. You know, but I know several fives have been married for a long time, but some of them get to spots where they're like, I can't do the same. We're like, I have to change. Like it's like inherent in their nature to change in ways that not everybody can or do. Mm. Yeah, so I think with that being kind of, that's kind of significant, I think, with being on this date, you know, something important to kind of look at as far as, you know, the date. So I know I hate to get, you know, so Americanized and, and, and a conspiracy, everything's a conspiracy, but, you know, the universe conspires. Let's say that the universe definitely uses people, the universe uses us. <laughs> so it may be something that, that there's a, a, a change that is happening around us that we either going to have to get used to because now dates are when you start playing with holidays and dates and those things um they, they kind of stick you know especially to put it on a five of clubs day i think this one's going to stick pretty good <laughs> as much as people are going to try to fight it right but um also i think he's practicing his six of hearts and venus you know to to love all you know and the greatest power is love I was just preaching that, right? So, um, and the King of Hearts is is preaching love, right? So, um, and loving people and having no bias within that. And so the the hearts are judged and they're ruled by the principle of love, <laughs> right? So, mm -hmm. um, and love is without it. judgment, right? Because judgment is our protections to love. Like discernment and judgment are very different. And when mm -hmm. we put a judgment on something, it's usually got some salty part of our personality or some prior experience webbed into it, right? Whereas love is innocent, love is pure, love is curious, love allows. Yeah, I think in our form of judgment, it is, and we think of it as being condemned, but they're not condemning. I, I don't think it should be seen as, because the kings are judges. So it is, you are condemning someone, but in the power of love, you know, someone once said that you can't be wrong as long as you're vibrating from their instincts of love and what you do. You know, so it's not that you're getting judged, it's you're, you're practicing what's rightfully right, you know, what's lawfully right. You know, so are, are you being judged or, or condemned or are you just um, practicing the law of love? You know, so it's, a, it's I think, fine line, thin line. <laughs> I think, I don't know if, if I'm saying that right or responding. Is that what you were saying or speaking on? Yeah, just love Love is fluid. Love allows. Like, I think sometimes, like, change means letting go. Like, I don't know, you know, I listen to Molly McCord all the time, astrology, and she was saying that as we go through these eclipses, and I happen to have the cryon and Pisces and things like that, that 90% of what was is staying and only 10% is going forward. So, I mean, I'd like to think that what it's staying is the judgments, the distortions, the confusion, right? And the purity is what's going forward. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I term that to be the more acceptance that can come in love. Come in love and leave in love, right? <laughs> yeah, get an end in the love. Yeah, for real. Um, yeah, so that's, that's I think we were speaking on the King of Hearts long range, right? <laughs> but that's the King of Hearts. And it's, I guess, almost not in its entirety, um, but... It's a union of, of people, of what they say, kindred souls, souls um, and to love all, you know, um, and, and to not judge, I guess you can say, um, but to walk into love. So, yeah, that is, you know, creating relationships. Uh, I was talking about the humanitarian aspects of this particular club's um, as well. So that could be working with people or be just being social in nature. Uh, having that as your long range. So let me see if there's any other questions. 
I know Gina is like she's trying to be in there with us. I saw she's like walking on the beach. I was definitely getting jelly. I was like, oh my god, look at that stuff. Um, it says uh, it's not a holiday; it's a recognition. It's been recognized way before Biden. Oh, it's not a holiday. I was wrong. Okay, why is it in the news? Uh, what is this in the news? <laughs> It's not a holiday. Okay, my bad. Correction. It's a recognition. Um, recognition. Okay, and it's always been that way. All right. Um. Let me see. Let me. See. Oh yeah, I can speak on. Um. Let me see. I guess I read from the book what the Six of Hearts says for the King of Hearts. Oh yeah, I was looking for a key questions from Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, we answered all the questions that from the week. If there's any other questions, please let us know. We're almost at two hours. So I'll go ahead and close it out and read from here. Uh, so you're gonna read and close us out? Yeah, just Okay. About the King of Hearts. I don't know. Okay. Um, I guess I'll read a little bit about the King of Hearts too. So it says, To all King of Hearts, peace of heart is the most desirable thing on earth. They want security and surroundings, but more than that, they want security and love. They want it to last forever. They keep their friend a long time and are never responsible for breaks if they occur. This is the card that is allied to the Christ principle that is the form upon which they stand in their relationships. So responsible, want security in all their relationships um, and practicing and preaching the power of love. You know, so as they say, we come in love and we leave in love. They want security in all surroundings, uh, which love is the most desirable. So um, I'll read a little bit, I guess. So I'll read the other part. So we do on occasion find them quarrelsome and overbearing. When that is the case, it is not so much the evidence of negativity as a problem for the psychologist. They displace the two of clubs, a fear card. They are constantly meeting with disappointment and others and are frequently deceived or betrayed. The weaker ones would naturally build up a fear neurosis and will also naturally express it in attempted domination and quarrels as a measure of defense. Like any other mental sickness, it needs treatment rather than condemnation. They can be readily cured. The women especially need it to take one need need to take warning. So when they began to take, when they began to express their nervousness and bossness and a tendency to rule the roost, it is sick. It is a signal to hurry to a psychologist. <laughs> the book told me hurry to a psychologist. Okay, I think I said that earlier too. <laughs> but you good, G. You out there having fun? You. I appreciate you uh, inviting us to the beach, though. <laughs> yeah, thanks for bringing us over. We can't hear you, honey. Can you hear me now? And the waves and the birds. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gina. There, I'll turn this way. There, there it is. Nice. Oh, so my sweet. happy place. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all have a good one. I'm gonna jump off here because I was in and out. Well, thank All you. Right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, enjoy bye, the everybody. beach. Thank you. Bye bye. Nice. Bye. All right, Rashad. Well. We went a lot of places, and I guess we're going to have to recognize that the King of Hearts goes all over the place. I have to think about that. But mm -hmm. we did some really good stuff. There's a lot of good information in here. So thank now, you. Yeah, I have, we have a, um, someone that will listen. So hopefully, maybe they'll critique us. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. Well, 
But That's good. I think we touched on all the good parts, but I was kind of, kind of trying to keep it in detail. And we answered some questions, you know, about the King no, of you Hearts. Did. The, yeah. yeah, I spoke about the King of Hearts seven of clubs relationship a lot, um, and throughout because it kind of related um, about the being steadfast and fixed and who you are, you know, because mm -hmm. it's. This, there can be insecurities within that King of Hearts with that two of challenge. So, yeah. But he's the president in supporting HBGT, HBGT groups. It's only right. Of course, he's looking for points, but he'll do the same thing on May 31st and June the 19th. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, like for other things, like he's just making a stand for everything, like not just that is what they're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, of course, it's like you said, he he has to, you know, um, especially at this point. <laughs> um, Trump may not be everybody's favorite, but it seems like he may be a majority. <laughs> so, but we'll see. But thank you all. We'll be here next week. We'll talk about um, ooh, what is next week? Is the exit? Do we well, we, go, into we go into the clubs, right? What? Because we're leaving. I mean, it's the, she said it yeah. was the King of Hearts month. Right, yeah, or the Queen so of we're going to month. Um, the month, well, it depends. The Queen of, King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, then Jack of Hearts. So March, Queen, Queen of Hearts month is next month. Right. Uh, then but then what's the week next week? The Ace of uh, Clubs? Ace of Clubs. Yeah, that's well, that's good. Nick and Nick, we're calling you out. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to an Ace of Clubs week. We've spoken about that a little bit. Gina has a lot of experience with that week. So looking forward to it, of course, the week, right? So, of course, looking at, at relationships. I ain't speak, speak on it too much, um, but curiosity with the cat, right? Um, we spoke a little bit about it <laughs> with the PDD thing and a lot of secrets coming out. The Ace of Clubs has a lot of secrets as well. Um, it has the Ace of Space Saturn. So there may be secrets that it may have. And also with the Ace of, Ace of Clubs. Um, so we may have some secrets coming out. Also with Ace of Clubs, this is Two of Hearts is this challenge, I think. Nick kind of spoke about that and explained that um, pretty well. So um, uh, what did he say? I'm trying to think about it. Um, he spoke about the Ace of Clubs and the Two of Hearts. So it's it's the challenge. Oh, he was talking about this, the, actually the Jack of Hearts. So the challenge, you know, is also your support. So the challenge mm -hmm. that you have is wanting a, a close relationship and companionship. Um, but also the support is the two parts, knowing that you are the support and that you can give it, you know, and not always, you know, I guess you can say, um, worry about what other people are giving you, you know, making sure you can give that to yourself and give it mm -hmm. without needing, you know, or not feeling deprived or, or not feeling like you just gave up the world. You know, like Nick always says, you are the cake. Here's the cake, right? Uh, that's a part. That's a huge part. That's a huge part. <laughs> The Ace of Club is the kick, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. the two of hearts, um, knowing Ace of Clubs and the two of hearts, you know, not looking outside of yourself, you know, making sure that you know that you are the love and give it to everyone else. You know, it is one of those things. Um, and people that that is kind of hard to find because, you know, they have a such a positive outlook or they can't have a positive outlook. On, on people, you know, and because they, they desire relationships, they want people around, but they can start a book club, start a cult a lot of times, <laughs> you know, and meet people where they need to be mentally, they can counsel people and yeah, have yeah. That, that psychic relationship. So definitely. Yeah. So seek right. those and like minds. So that's a good point. And mm -hmm. stay in your heart when you're seeking those minds. Try to bring it through your heart when you talk, because if the minds start going at it, sometimes you're in loops. You don't even know you're in. <laughs> so, but yeah. Totally. And enjoy your home with your family. I hope you have a good holiday. All right. You too. Have a nice one. All right. Bye, Richard.